Bitcoin has now closed two daily candles above the 200 day moving average. And if you're looking on log scale, if you take your two top downward sloping resistance points, Bitcoin is just now getting above that as well. And this log scale downward sloping resistance coincides with the 200 day moving average. So Bitcoin is making an extremely important pivot. This is really what I've been waiting for to confirm a true bullish reversal. Being above the 200 day moving average will give the market a lot of confidence. And at this point, it does seem like the market has the strength to continue upward. And we may be looking to test up towards these previous support and potential resistance zones. If you take your fibs from the highest high of the range to the lowest low of the range, that previous resistance point right here, that actually coincides with the 618 fib extension and as we discussed in my last video if we get above the 200 day moving average if we did that my next target becomes 51,000, and that is actually where i'm looking to see bitcoin test up to next i do think that we're probably going to find some bearish speculation along that range i don't think that we're necessarily just going to go straight to the moon from here of course not it's more likely that bitcoin would actually start to play above and below the 200 day moving average and look to reclaim it as new support as it attempts to create a full recovery and you guys know on this channel we were one of the only channels on youtube to actually have confidence that 30,000 was going to be the bottom and my viewers know to do that we used my favorite indicator which is the weekly volume on coinbase and that showed us that this would be very likely a bottom and it has now turned out to be a bottom i've been taking full advantage of this range accumulating and now a lot of people are coming to me saying kevin you know i wasn't sure if this was the bottom or not i didn't buy as much coins as i should what should i do should i fomo and now should i wait i think the best move of course it's not financial advice would probably be to see if bitcoin extends up to that 618 51k level and then looks to pull back into the 200 day moving average once again now there's another key moving average that i want to bring up right now that not that many people discuss and that is the 128 day simple moving average now let me go back in time to show you guys just how significant of a moving average this is here's the 2017 run if we're looking at the 2017 run the blue 128 day simple moving average was used as support down here at the 400 dollars range after we moved up it was an area of support here as well, the $600 range. We bounced off of it here at the seven to $900 range. If you're looking up the 128 day simple, we bounced directly off of it at 1800. We bounced directly off of it at the 3000 level. And also if you're looking up here, we bounced directly off of it at the $9,200 level. And then we used it as resistance multiple times as well right during the bear market it was resistance here the blue line it was resistance here the 200 day was resistance here and the 128 day was resistance here so the 128 day even going over here to 2019 it was our final support zone and once we broke it then we entered a bearish trend but we also used it as resistance on the china pump in 2019 it was also support on this head and shoulders here and also if you're moving over right before the bull run began in september october of 2020 it was also that support zone right there so it's similar to the 21 week ema but this is the 128 day moving average and it, it was also our final support right here just like 2019 before the breakdown and once again we are getting above it at this point in time so the 200 day and the 128 day are going to be two very key moving averages for accumulation targets. So if Bitcoin does extend up into the $50,000 range, we would likely find bearish speculation, a little bit of profit taking. And I'm looking for the 128 day and the 200 day moving average as an accumulation zone before the next leg up. So these two moving averages, if we ever fall back below these two, that's going to be my accumulation zone. As of right now, I'm kind of just riding this trend. I have a lot of great coins in my portfolio and I'm just riding the trend to the upside. I'm gonna wait for some sort of structure to come back into the market before I start accumulating more coins. I don't wanna blindly accumulate at these levels. I wanna see some sort of local top with some kind of pullback. I think that the recovery is gonna look something more like this, guys, right? Where we create a longer term uptrend 
and slowly build out over the next few months, right? This is the type of action I'm looking for here. And yes, guys, I am extremely bullish on this market and I do not think that this bull market will end any time soon. If you guys don't follow me on Twitter, you definitely should. I made this post yesterday where I said, Bitcoin's performance since the last market cycle top has been incredible. With this performance chart, it shows we are actually in a perfect cycle. And this is Bitcoin's performance since the last market top. The initial up phase was faster than 2017, but we are now perfectly on track with 2017. Guys, we are literally almost perfectly on the exact same timeline for the 2021 cycle compared to 2017 cycle if you're measuring it from the last market cycle top, right? So I was saying new all-time highs are coming. This is a bull market. And I really do believe that, guys. I think we have at the very least one final bull phase that could last six months, six months to the upside. You know, if you're taking a look at this chart, if you just draw a trend line to see, you know, what the average performance may be for Bitcoin, we can see that 2017 had a pretty big extension there. So if you draw these two trend lines here, I think that Bitcoin is likely going to top out this cycle somewhere in between to 180K as a conservative estimate. I think closer to 180,000 is starting to become more so my target. You know, I think it could be anywhere from 180 to 250,000 as a potential target for Bitcoin. 180,000 is my current conservative estimate for profit taking. But my point here is that this cycle is on track with the same speed and same momentum as 2017. So I'm expecting another six months to the upside. And we have a few other on-chain metrics from William Clemente, who's discussing the supply shock ratios. We're seeing more upticks in the supply shock. There's less Bitcoin available on the market, which is making it very likely that we're gonna see all-time highs once again. Willy Wu posting more fundamental metrics that are supporting this. Bitcoin versus user growth. We are now hitting all-time highs in user growth. We got 1.2 million users added in the past 30 days. We are now exceeding the 2017 peak levels. And this is happening after Bitcoin dumped, right? So after Bitcoin went down to 30K and now it's rebounding to 40, we are now hitting new all-time highs. Guys, we're likely going to see the biggest growth for the Bitcoin network we've ever seen over the next six months. Some more on-chain metrics here. We can see that the balance on exchanges saw the most rapid decline it's seen, well, since the entire bull run started, right? If you're looking since October, we never saw a drop in the balance on exchanges this rapid ever on this move down, right? So whales are interested, guys. Whales are buying here. And we can see that because William Clemente's on-chain metrics here discussing the supply held by entities with a balance of 10,000 to 100,000 Bitcoin William saying big money has been buying since May 19th, since the dump. Entities with 10K to 100K Bitcoin have added 269,000 Bitcoin to their holdings, $12 billion. These entities have between 450 to 4.5 billion of their capital allocated to Bitcoin. This is rapidly growing as well. Follow the money, guys. The entities with a lot of Bitcoin are accumulating. This is exactly what we were discussing the entire time that we were testing 30,000, that the whales were gonna absorb all of the sell pressure. So all the fundamentals are looking fantastic, and now we're getting above that 200-day moving average. Right now, the overall market's doing amazing. Bitcoin's up 2.3%, Ethereum's up 3.6%, Cardano up 18%, XRP up 25%, stealing the show today. And also, we can see that Polygon, Matic, one of my favorite altcoins, is also up 22%. Guys, we bought Polygon at $0.04. Cents in my Patreon. So definitely check out Patreon to see what other altcoins I'm getting into right now. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely smash that like button, subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you all in the next video.